Ah, Ilhan Omar back in the news. Our favorite, favorite Arab Arab woman from Minnesota, the good Congresswoman, dissing on Obama. Ah, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Uh, Marcus Conti reporting. Pal, in the news, look at this, Omar. Il- Ihan, Ilhan Omar, Obama's pretty face who got away with murder. Oh, <laughs> damn, she's calling Obama a murderer. Well, not really, but she's calling, like he got away with murder, figuratively. So, Minnesota rep. Ilhan Omar ripped President Barack Obama in an interview published Friday, belittling his pretty face and saying his agenda of hope and change was an illusion. Damn. Ah, okay. this is see, this is rocking the boat, man. I know, I know. When you guys look, some people look and they see a a, a Muslim woman, that Muslim religion. We gotta make a Muslim ban. Uh, stupid. Uh, she's she's an American. Uh, she served time in a in a concentration camp. Listen to what she said. She cited caging of uh, kids in Mexico border and uh, droning of countries around the world on Obama's watch and argued that he wasn't much different than President Trump. We can't be we can't only be upset with Trump, the freshman firebrand told uh, Politico magazine. Here's the political art article if you want to read it. It's long and it's it's more biographical, uh, autobiographical and shit. Who cares? I, I don't I don't really care their background. I just care what see this is look again, it's ideas, right? It's not I don't look at at Ilhan Omar as some radical Democrat supporting the Democratic Party. I look at the ideas and the policy. Right? That's that's what it's all about, right? Anybody who can make their way into Congress and present ideas and policies that benefit the American people is a, is a great American uh, uh, idea in itself, right? It's it's a great venture. It's a great thing to do, right? and we should respect it. We should, we should respect for what for what she's doing. His policies are bad. And many of the people who came before him also had really bad policies. <laughs> this is about Obama. They were just more polished than he was, Omar said. Ooh, fucking wow. And that's not uh, what we should be looking for anymore. We don't want anyone to get away with murder because they are polished. We want to, we want to recognize the actual policies that are behind the pretty face and the smile. Damn... The explosive comments about a man lionized by Democrats were only the latest in a series of incendiary comments, statements, uh, that have put the national spotlight on Omar, a Somali-American Muslim who spent four years in a refugee camp in Kenya with her family after her family fled the violence in her homeland. Wow, so that's a good resume piece. You spent four years in Kenya in in a refugee camp you know, eating sand and, 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 right? So is she qualified to speak about uh, putting a, f- a pretty face on insurgency wars, bomb dropping all over Somalia and, and wherever else we drop goddamn bombs? Yes, yeah, she's very qualified to talk about it. She was on the receiving end of it. Right? And there she is, attacking Obama. But she's black. She can't, she can't attack Obama because black and black and you can't, so, right? so she's, she's, She's transcending race. In February, her second month in office, Omar responded to a tweet uh, about how a uh, tweet about House GOP leader Kevin Mc, uh, McCarthy's threat to punish her and other congresswomen for criticizing Israel. Right? It's all about the Benjamins, baby. She tweeted a line from Puff Daddy's song "Hundred Dollar Bill." Critics say Omar was uh, perpetuating a hate trope, uh, troop, <laughs> a hate per- perpetrating a hateful troop about Jewish Americans and money. Say again, you can't criticize Israel, you can't criticize the Jew because then you're an anti-Semite and they try to shut you down and run you over with their stupid movie, Schindler's List, fucking you know Spielberg, Hollywood, <laughs> the New York Times. 
Uh, the insur- insuring firebrand rattled the Democratic House majority and spurred uh, spurred days of recriminations and tense negotiations that led to the compromise package condemning bigotry that sailed through the House. I, again, I don't I don't agree with that bigotry and hatred uh, uh, rule because again we have uh, the the you know all kinds of discriminatory discrimination laws on the books. The 1964 Discrimination Act here in New York. You've got the Civil Rights, uh, the the um, Human Rights Act. Right? There's all, they're all on the books already. We don't need more rules and more uh, bullshit. So that's pretty powerful, right? So so there you go. You know, Omar, Omar, shaking it up, shake it up, baby, shake it up, baby. If you're gonna shake it up, you're my friend, right? The friend of my friend is my enemy. <laughs> The enemy of my enemy is my friend. So, so there you go. You know. So, so Ilhan Omar calling calling a spade a spade. <laughs> I was calling Obama a murderer. Said he got away with murder. Ooh, that's that's, that's some foul stuff. So, uh, so you know what? Where does it all lead? You know, this is this is good stuff. You know, is it is it Democrat? Is it Republican? Is it left wing? Is it right wing? Is it conservative? Is it Whatever the fuck you want to call it, as a communist, as a socialist, is it is it capitalist? I, what you're gonna look searching for the for the title to slam on it? No, it's a, it's an American voicing American opinions, right? Seventy percent of the country would say that that uh, Obama was nothing more than a pretty face, a smiling face. He got in there on the on the proper rhetoric. To tear down the banks. We're gonna we're gonna break up the banks. Right? He said all the right things, but then when he got into office, he folded like a cheap suit. Right? So here's a uh, congresswoman uh, right out of the box, fresh with that fresh new smell, right out of the box, calling it what it is and shutting shutting down shutting down the legacy of Obama. Marcus County reporting. 